and Python version, Python 3 version, of the second partial exam, question 3. So this time we're going to write a function called the sum squares list. So we're going to have a function that receives a list of numbers. It doesn't specify what type the numbers are, but the example is using integers. And it takes that list of numbers and adds up the squares of them and returns that. So let's get going on that. Clear out my terminal. I'll make a new file. I'll save it as exam3.py. And we're rocking. So the name of the function is called sum squares list. So let's call it sum squares list because that's what Ken told us to call it. It receives parameters. Does it receive parameters? Um, receives a list. Okay, cool. So um, I'll call it numbers. And uh, and it returns something. It returns a number. So let's just return 42. So that's our favorite number. And then we're going to test this. So let's make the list. So the nums is um, the example is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Python just allows us to make a list in this way. And then we could print out the value of calling sum squares with this list of numbers. If that freaks you out a little bit, let's just break this down into two chunks. And the answer is make that call, and then we'll print the answer. Okay, cool. So let's try it. Let's run it. Python 3, uh, exam 3, what should it print? 42. Very good, we're good. So 42 prints, that's what we expected, but it's wrong. So what we need to do, it's pretty similar to what we just did with um, the loop using the accumulator for factorial. So, but we're going to use an accumulator and add up um, the first number squared plus the second number squared plus the third number squared. So the accumulator is actually not going to start with one. It's going to start with zero because additive identity zero. So so we're thinking about the inside of the loop. The accumulator is the accumulator plus some um, value times itself, right? The number squared, and that value is going to be um, some one of those numbers in index i. So the value is index i of the numbers. And then the accumulator gets plus, and if you really want, we'll put parentheses around these so it's a little more obvious. Um, and then we need to do that. So which values of i should we do that from? Well, there's a list. Lists have indices. Um, and indices represent which element is in the list. We start counting with 0, which is normal. Uh, so the indices for this five element list will be index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4, i, in, range. How big is that list of numbers? So if the numbers is list size 5, we need to go from 0 up to 4. Um, but um, uh, I'm, I'm just this function up here. I, have, I, I don't know what's down here. This is invisible to me. So if I'm the function, I need to know, oh, so how big is that list of numbers? Oh, I could just ask for the length of the numbers. Okay. So len of numbers will give me size the length of the list, or the length of the list. If the list is size 5, then that will be 5. And a range 5 will go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you really want to freak that freaks you out, we could do something like this. We could say the length is this, and then we go from 0 up to length. Okay, so it's okay. We're going actually going from 0 up to length where this is in non inclusive. Um, I actually did the th backwards, didn't I? Um, and that's good because the index of the array doesn't go up to the number of elements, it goes up to one before because we start at zero. So we're good. Um, zero to the length is just the same as just saying range of length. There's three ways to do ranges in Python. Check them out. So I need a full colon there. So for i in range length, value is numbers i, accumulator is accumulator plus that, and I do that a whole bunch of times. And when I'm done, I'm going to return that accumulator. 
I should be done. So this will add from 1 to 5 the squares, which would be 55, because Ken told us what, that's what it should be, and it works. Um, if I put a 6 in there, what, would that be 55 plus 36 would be 91, right? So that should work too. Awesome. Number 3.